And of course, like I said, he cannot be one shot. We're gonna stay away from him. Just try to take out the Fermion and the Annabelle all day. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No. What's going on, everybody? It's Childish, we're back at it again. It's time to give you guys some more of that Guild War battles, man. Uh, today, we are going at one of our guilds in our community. We have Epic Fail Alpha, who is currently holding the meme title of 27 Legends. So let's see if we can break this guild down. Um, you know, we got it only a couple of green bars. It's only been up here for about 75 minutes. So I'm going to do something that I generally don't do. We're going for some green bars here, but we're going to try to go for some of these top end players here. So let's start with Aspire. Let's not waste any time at all. Let's get right into it. Uh, downtown, we got to get lucky and just kind of cleave it out. But this one here, we may have to put our try hard cap on here. Uh, taking a look at this comp, I want to play around uh, with something that can obviously uh, have a little bit of elemental advantage towards a Recon, force Recon to attack somebody else, and then um, have also keep the Fermion at bay. So I feel like we have to use like a light unit here. Uh, there's really no way to go about it. And try to bring two water base units to go ahead and uh, kind of counteract Sir. So this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. He has sustain, right? He's he's gonna be able to keep himself alive. Let's go ahead and bring ourselves some kind of sustain and uh, provide ourselves a, a little bit, uh, you know, some kind of a flat heal that is based on the HP of uh, Emma. We're gonna bring her in, and then of course my damage healer is going to be is going to be uh, Thea Mars. Now Thea Mars is actually sitting pretty good, so let's actually try to take advantage of this resistance here. Obviously, it's not going to do us a ton of help right now, but. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine with that. Critical rate is great, but I, I'm sitting pretty good on Grago's end, so I feel pretty confident. And of course, like I said, he cannot be one-shotted here. So even if Rakan uh, gets the defense break on, on Grago early on, he's not gonna be able to take advantage of his passive or, or his, his main third skill. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're gonna stay away from him. Just try to take out the Fermion and the Annabelle all day, and then just kind of go from there. So let's see what we got going on. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No! <laughs> what happened? Forget, forget tactics here. Well, forget about the elemental advantage. Maybe I should have kept critical rate so it would be easier to take out Grongo. We literally are done. We literally are done. We don't have any kind of sustain. Like we have to press end. Oh my God. What's going on with that? Okay, so it looks like RNG is gonna be on our side today. Damage that this guy can do is crazy. The attack bar is up there, but it wasn't enough, even with the two hits, to take us out here. So this should be a clean sweep. Um, I think maybe his Orion might give it out speed, but I think we're gonna do enough damage to take him out. Was that it? Shige got him? Oh my God, okay, harmless prank, it's all good. Nothing he could do about that, but wow, dude. Like, uh, when, when, when you plan something and it definitely <laughs> doesn't go your way. GG, bro. Okay, so either way, we got a draw on that. We'll take it. It's better than a, a loss, right? We'll, we'll, we'll have fun with it. But, man, we already lost Emma. We can't even mess around with her. So, once again, we are doing something that we shouldn't be doing. We should be staying away from this one. Um, I don't recall uh, what kind of a set that they have on it. But, obviously, I'm going to push speed for speed, which is pretty silly considering that Hecate is one of the top players uh, in the game today. There's a really, really good chance they're going to outspeed me right now. But if I can get the jump, I will silence Tiana, let Ciara throw her bomb away, and then try to use my bomb to take out, possibly, I could, I could, I mean, I got some choices here, but it all depends on what kind of lands here. Up top, I'm thinking Virad and Theo, we're gonna try to control the fight after they get the first turn, and try to lock down that Artemis so he can't keep on getting those counter attacks in. And then let's bring one of our fire base units, let's give Perna a target. Obviously I like, um, I like Laika, I like the uh, Miha Wang, whatever, but we need something to provide us a little bit of a heal. Um, and I don't want to take away the targets uh, outside of, uh, I don't want to take it away from, uh, I don't want to take it away from Perna. Like if, if, if we got Tian Lang that provides a defense break on somebody else, then uh, I'm hoping that's going to be okay. But considering what happened at Spire, like they didn't care at all when it comes to defense break. They still went for it. Uh, the different element now mind you it's fermion he can go for anybody he wants but honestly i really thought that the defense break was going to land on gargo because gargo's resistance wasn't too crazy like that's that's how it goes down sometimes but either way let's see what we can do right now i'm sure he's going to be getting the first turn there with town lane obviously i love orion and his team but we cannot we cannot deal with uh we cannot provide any we don't want any kind of attack bar uh, manipulation here so 
Uh, here's the interesting thing. Do I go... Like, with these two units locked down, obviously I don't want to waste my freeze here. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go straight for Artemil. Like, I want to go for him right now. Right then and there. I mean, we're getting violent procs right now, so... Might as well... Why, what? What? Let's go! Let, <laughs> let's go! We don't even care about this, like... We are going for it all day. Um, wow. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't want, I don't want, like, if I, if I kill Perna right now, he's, I'm going to have to deal with the whole, um, him, you know, being able to come at me and just do some more damage. Let's go ahead and wait a little bit. And now, let's do that freeze. So, again, if we have to deal with him, um, if we have to deal with his passive, like, it's okay. Now it's 1v1. It doesn't even matter. Like, we're good. We're good. So, not too shabby on that end. We're getting the jump. Uh, I was a little, I was a little concerned, but it looks like the game plan worked out. Unless this Perna goes a little crazy right now, looks like he wasn't able to do it. Um, but oh my God, we're in trouble right here. Look at the bomb is already in play, and I don't even think can we cut? Can we cut now? Can we cut and stop Ciara? We could stop Ciara. Okay, okay. And now bomb Gianna, bomb Gianna right now. Killer, please do not. I'm just gonna be too tanky. There's no way. Oh my god, I can't even believe we got her. Oh my god, heal up. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, wait a second. Wait, oh, wait. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on a second. We got... So we need the, we need the Violet Procs from Ciara right now. Let's put the attack break on. Let's go. Hit Bastet. No, you're hitting the wrong unit. Stop already. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to kill Ciara because she's going to Violet Proc. She's going to Violet Proc her bomb when she puts it on, right? So let's put the bomb on. Now let's go for Theomars. We got Theomars reset. Let's provide that attack break here to keep him alive. Bam, bam. Okay, we can't do nothing though. Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so clutch, dude. Oh, it's so gross. So we will take that nasty win versus a K. Uh, wow, I, I don't remember the last time I was able to win. I think, I think like twice in, in my lifetime I'd be able to take him out. So we got one more green up in here. And what do you know? A ton of more uh light and dark units here so i don't know if we have every every of our oh we do let we did lose iris so we're gonna have a little bit of an issue on that front here but you know if he has even though he has that passive right um even though he has the passive on there if we can at least control the fight you know by means of the attack bar manipulation on Farad, I, I still don't see any reason why we can't keep i uh, can't keep that same team rocket here um here's the funny thing we don't have we don't have any kind of like we, we we gotta go i don't it's one of those things where i i get a little worried about going fire even though my recon sorry my recon my uh my kumar has obviously a ton of uh, uh a ton of crit right he's maxed out on crit like i i feel a little cautious here going into this dmr fight but you know what let's gamble with it one time if we bring him in we can provide that hit point disturb that can you know stop iris from getting that passive into play orion's going to be able to help out with the hit point disturb and the uh, buff removal here, so I feel like we're doing pretty good. Downtown, we're definitely going to be bringing a lot of fire here, and obviously, you guys already know what it is. Like I have to bring, I have to bring the uh, Leica up in this mix here because Leica is not going to have to deal with any of any of that glancing aspect. And considering all the defense breaks that can come into play, I feel like we need to bring some kind of immunity, right? Um, it just kind of makes sense here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's let's play around with this immunity. I don't have any other units that I really want to mess around with. I could bring in Delphoid, but you don't you don't want to see Delphoid's room. Like it's pretty bad. Um, but let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll take our time with it. Again, he has uh, two really high like effective HP monsters here, so it's going to take a little bit of time to break down. And obviously, this Mauler is going to be able to slow us down. We're running the defensive lead. You know what, dude? I ain't even playing. Like forget that. We're stacking. We're stacking Villagil's DPS here. We're trying to get some. We're trying to get some numbers out here. Like we don't care about Bastet. Bastet, you're 2,000 late. Like whatever. Like you ain't gonna take a hit. She has a resistance uh, max here, so hopefully she can take the uh, take a little bit of a uh, a little bit of uh, defense break. Like not take any defense break on here. So that's what that's what we're hoping for. Um, oh my God, that makes sense. Like go ahead and silence the one monster that I didn't really want you to touch. GG, bro. So obviously we have to wait it out. Um, nothing we could do there. Um, really? 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 Oh my god. Unbelievable. Stop already. So Orion needs to turn it up. Oh, we, we can use a violent proc right now. No violent proc. Here goes our thing. Stop it already. Stop it. Oh my god. That's so gross. Uh, you know what, though? It's it's okay. 
It's okay. It had to happen. Like, the violent parts that we were getting the first match, there's really nothing we can do about that. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just gonna let it run out because there's really no point in trying anymore. Um, but again, we'll go ahead and just, for SMGs right now, do a couple of hits. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think Kumar's gonna be able to come back from this one. Here. We really needed that control from Barrage to get the job done. And uh, as you can see right here, the Steel Mars is getting, getting everything done. GG, let's get out of here. Let's try to get some luck here on this back end. So, I feel a lot better about this one. We're going to go ahead and get that immunity up all day. Um, of course, Molly can go ahead and remove it, but not really too concerned about that. I'm going to go ahead and just use this uh, first skill right now. Looks like she's running the Violent Nemesis. Can we get a lucky defense break on her? We cannot. And of course, with the... Um, the Grego here doing some, you know, has that passive in the play. Like, we're not going to be able, we're still going to have that reduced damage um, that we have to deal with here. So, let's go ahead. They, won't, they don't got any kind of immunity. Um, so, let's go ahead and deal with it. Uh, again, I know his passive is going to get set into play here, but let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we could do. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. 40k, but it was reduced here because it was passive. So, that is not too shabby at all. I definitely feel like uh, he's going to be the target to go for now. He's not going to do a lot of damage. Um, again, we got that attack uh, break in control. Um, we got Miss Bastet controlling the fight, holding it down, not letting us, not letting us get any kind of damage here. What? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that right there. That should have killed. That should have killed Grago. I feel like it should have killed Grago. Bad mistake on my part. I shouldn't have uh, done the AOE there to deal with that. But again, uh, max resistant Bastet. It's hard to. It's hard to get that defense break to land. She honestly is like one of the units that I, I feel like I've been tanking more often than not the Ciaras, the Fang games, like more so than, than Arena should be, right? Um, but it's weird, you know, I, I don't like the whole thing about, you know, resistance, is it, you know, useful? You know, is it is it viable? Like I've gone back and forth about it, but she is the only one that I honestly, I, no, sorry, I got two brawlers, sorry, correction. I have two, um, monsters that have uh, max resistance that I use on a regular basis and they do pretty darn good. Uh, they do pretty darn good. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. No glance. It's done. GG. Alright, so again, uh, that is going to be it with regards to this fight. Everything Alpha always doing some work here. Uh, look at this Fang Yang just go ham with this pass up. Hopefully, yeah, Belligio can go ahead and uh, get us all set in play. Maybe remove that beneficial effect. Um, oh my god. If this Fang Yang solos me, we are in, we are in trouble. But I think I don't think it's gonna solo me. We got the elemental advantage here, but he is constantly, <laughs> he is constantly getting those additional attacks in. Um, wow. So I don't know. This is just taking some time here, but we'll we'll get it done. I think that's pretty much it, though. Um, outside of that, guys, we got a lot of things going on with regards to the events here. Uh, we just had a new one pop into play. I'm pretty excited about that. Anytime we get an opportunity to get anything free. Devil Mons, all these scrolls and whatnot. Obviously, we got to take advantage of that here. So, uh, all right, last couple of hits. Boom, boom. There it is. Okay, you know what? How in the world did that fan game take me all the way down on that Velojo and Bastet? I haven't even. What, I have no idea. But that's what happens sometimes. Babo's like stats are pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't gonna show you guys that. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to expose anybody. Shout out to play town one time but <laughs> anyways guys thank you all so much for tuning in for this uh guild war battle i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and i will see you all in the next one take care